Well, the morning edition is also bringing you something special today as those bread basket items are losing the vat. As yes, Gadley has a guest who is sharing tips on preparing a delicious meal using some key bread basket items. Chef Sean A. Cooper is serving up a new twist on a Bahamian staple. So instead of corned beef and grits, we're having herb crusted corned beef cakes with cheesy fried grits and a spicy tomato drizzle. Growing up, my mom always did uh, tuna cakes for us and we loved them. Um, and I thought about, you know, something fun, something easy, something different. I said, why not do some corned beef cakes? And, you know, kids like cheese, kids like, um, and grown-ups as well, um, grits, and it pairs well with the corned beef and, and grits. So I said, you know, put a little twist on it as well and do some nice fried grits. Apart from being unique, this menu option is also economical as it incorporates many of the bread basket items that are now vat-free as of today. Quite a few. I was able to incorporate the corned beef, the grits, the tomato paste, um, oil, sugar, uh, the bread for the breadcrumbs, and also the cheese, and a little bit of flour as well. So how long should the water be boiling before you? Um, until it comes to a rolling boil, and you know, you can add in, add in your flavors. Mm -hmm. And here is the grits, and you know the grits is two part one, so you have two parts water, one part grits. You know, grit swells. <laughs> so this grits takes about about five, six minutes, mm -hmm. ten max. So you just want to mix the cheese in there. And we're just going to take our beautiful cheesy grits. Allow it to cool just for a few, few seconds. Put everything onto a film wrap. Once it's spread neatly, the pan should be then placed in the refrigerator for approximately 10 minutes. Now, in the meantime, Cooper mixes the corned beef salad and the spicy sauce. So we have a wonderful dish of herb crusted corned beef cakes and a nice cheesy grits with our spicy tomato sauce. Now we're going to have a pear leaf tea. <laughs> and so we have our leaves and you just pick for one cup, you probably need about three to four leaves. Okay. And you wash them lightly. You know, tear them in boiling water. It's already been boiled, and you just put it in there, and you let it steep. Steep for about, about 10 minutes. Okay. She shapes and fries the corned beef cakes. It was then time to cut and fry the cheese. Once that's completed, it's time to plate it up. Thank you so much, Seanette. It was a pleasure. Um, I would definitely call this a healthy meal, a nice healthy meal that's mm -hmm. good for the body mm -hmm, and definitely certainly. good for the budget.